Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. We are talking about series 2, Triangles. Today is episode number 19. Today's topic, friends, is solving problems based on similar triangles. This is part 3. As you, you will recall, it was episode 17 where we started this topic of how to solve questions or problems that will be based on similar triangles. And we have looked at in seven, episode 17 and episode 18 different types of questions that you may be getting in your tests and exams and how do we go ahead and solve them. For your easy reference, I'm going to provide those links down below. So friends, here we are going to take a look at one final type of question that you may be getting in your exam. And this is a little bit different question because it is not a straightforward uh, question where your diagram is given and then you have to find out how the triangles are similar or any of the type of questions we have seen earlier. So let's talk about what this type of question really is. So here a boy or a girl of a certain height, 60 centimeter, is walking away from the base of a lamppost at a certain speed, in this case 1.8 meter per second. If the lamp is 3.3 meter above the ground, find the length of a shadow after 8 seconds. So friends, I mean first you may think, wow, this looks like almost a science or a physics, physics question and I think initially I would also agree but like we always do let's break it down step by step so what we have here friends is this so we are going to draw two straight lines vertical lines so one AB one will be AB this will represent the lamp post this is our lamp post right and the small one, DE, it is the boy. This represents the boy. The height of the boy is DE and the height of the lamp post is AB. So why have I why have I drawn AB so tall? Because if you look at this, AB, the lamp is 3.3 meters and boy is 60 centimeter, right? So the lamp post is quite long and boy relatively is of much smaller height. Now what happens is that initially the lamppost is here and the boy is right here at the base of the lamppost. I know that you cannot really have the boy right on the lamppost but you know for all practical purposes both the, the boy is right at the base of the lamppost. Now what happens is as time goes on the boy walks away from the lamppost. So let us say the boy walks away in this direction. Well, in this direction, this direction does not matter. Pick a direction. So essentially the idea is that the boy is walking away from the lamppost, right, at a certain speed. So the boy initially was here at point B. Then as the boy walks away from the lamppost, so he will be somewhere over here, like here or here, somewhere away in this direction. So what happens at that time? Let's take a look. Let's clean, it up, clean this up a little bit. So here what we have is, so AB is the height of the boy. AB is the height of the lamp post, right? Let us just call it lamp. So this is the lamp. After 8 seconds, the boy has traveled some distance. So the boy actually went from here to here, right, in eight seconds and at this point boy is standing right here so friends now if you draw a straight line from A to D remember the D is the head of the boy this is how tall the boy is so this is the boy right if you draw a straight line from A, so it will be something like this. Let's try and draw this. So I'll probably going to mess this up, but let's just give it a go. So if you draw a straight line, it will probably come like this. And then you want to extend this line. And this is the ground, right? So the light we know travels in a straight line. So then the if you extend this to some point let's call it c then this length 
EC will be the length of the shadow because boy is this tall and he's standing here so from the feet to where the point C is will be the length of the shadow so what we want to do is that we want to find out we know that speed what is speed speed is nothing but distance traveled by time right so from here we can say that distance is nothing but you multiply speed and time so which is speed multiply by time right so what we have we have the height ab we have the height of the boy we know this distance because if you multiply the speed and time we have the speed given to us and time so we can find out this length so if you look at in in triangle a b c we have b e we can find out the distance traveled by the boy in eight seconds we have a b height of the lamp post we have d e height of the boy and we need to find out e c so friends now let's clean this up a little bit so here we have now let's see how are we going to solve this so first of all let's let's write it the proper way height of the lamp post is 3.6 meter which is equal to 360 centimeter we want to get all the dimensions in centimeter because the height of the boy is 60 centimeter right and the lamp is given in meter similarly the distance traveled we would want to bring that also in centimeter because it is the speed is given in meter per second so height of the lamp post is a b equals to 3.6 meter which is 3.6 times 1000 360 centimeter then height of the boy de is 60 centimeter boy is walking away from the lamp post at a speed of 1.8 meter per second ad ac is the light ray ec is the length of boy's shadow right so what we have here is after 8 seconds the boy would have traveled the distance be which is speed times multiply by time so 8.8 .8 multiply by 8 will be 14.4 meter or 14 or it should be yes actually 1440 centimeter I think I misspoke to convert meter into centimeter you multiply by 100 not 1000 right so BE is 1440 centimeter now BC is nothing but BE plus EC so let us just assume that so what we have is BE let's write out let's write down what we know right now so AB we know is 360 centimeter BE we just saw is 1440 1440 which is just BE and let us assume the length of the shadow is what we are trying to find correct so let us assume this is x so bc will be 1440 plus x correct and the height of the boy is given as 60 now friends what we have here is in triangle c d e the small triangle c d e and C A B now what we have here so we have both this angle is 90 degree because this is the height of the boy and this is a the height of the lamp post right so both the heights the both the angles are 90 degrees and angle C is common to both the triangles so these two triangles CDE and CAB the small triangle and the big triangle they are actually similar triangles by AA similarity rule so if these two triangles are actually similar triangles 
then what we can say is that DE by AB that is DE by AB is equal to EC by BC right because we know that in similar triangles the ratio of corresponding sides is the same right so DE by AB is equal to EC by BC. Now let us just substitute the values that we have here. You will notice that we have just done the calculation here. DE is nothing but 60, right? AB is 360. EC is X divided by BC is 140 by X. So if you just solve this, you will find out that X is equal to 288 centimeter. And what is X? So essentially what we have here is that, like it is mentioned here, right? You have DE. From similar triangles, we know the ratio of the corresponding sides are the same. So the small triangle has the side DE opposite to this angle. In the big triangle, the side opposite to this angle is AB. So DE by AB is equal to is equal to EC in the small triangle which is actually X divided by in the big triangle BC which is your 1440 plus X. And, and we know the measure of DE and AB. DE is 60 and AB is 360. So this ratio comes to 1 by 6. So at this point, friends, this is a linear equation in X and you can simply solve it and you will find out the value of X which comes to 288 centimeter. So friends, this is the one of the unique type of questions where the diagram will not be given to you and you have to really, you may feel it's a science question or a physics question but this is really a similar triangles question. So we just wanted to make sure that you take a look and understand thoroughly this particular type of question and know what you have to do should this come in your test or exam.